How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a very cringe TikTok video featuring a soccer mom in somewhere, Pleasantville, USA. I have no idea where she lives, but the video is of her coaching her sons to praise black women for the role in the 2020 presidential election. Now, <laughs> there's so much to this video, I'm not even really sure where to begin. I mean, you've got the grift, as a cool kid say, you know, being fake for some money. You also have the the infighting between liberals. In, in the liberal sphere, there's infighting about this video, for this video, and against this video. Now, before I go any further, let's roll the clip. In this clip, you'll see the mom and their sons praising black women. Then I'm going to show you another clip of a black woman reacting to that video in a negative way, but still very liberal. It's not from a conservative point of view at all, like how I would bring you. After we get done with that, I'll talk about both of those videos and I'll give you my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice boat on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Black women are the reason that Donald Trump is no longer going to be our president. All, All hail, hail black, black women. women. No longer going to be our president. So I'm going to say something that's potentially controversial, but it needs to be said. And I really hope this video goes viral. Um, do y'all not understand that these TikToks actually make black women uncomfortable? Black women do not feel safe. We do not feel protected. We actually feel fairly threatened right now because you are putting a target on our backs. You're literally saying the same thing that white supremacists say, that we as black women are responsible for what happens politically in this country, that we are the political radicals that are responsible for getting Donald Trump kick, getting kicked out. You're literally saying that you think black women are inherently revolutionaries that can change the system. Do you not know what happens to revolutionaries historically? You're putting a political target on our backs. But I think you know this, don't you? You know what happens next. You know what the what the outcome could be for us. All right, you heard that, you saw that. Now, if that's not cringe, I don't know what is. Um, that that was that was just really, really crazy and ridiculous. I mean, come on. Like this is kind of a form of child abuse. Why are you trying to have them bow down to just black women randomly? First of all, um, isn't that racism? Like, why just black women specifically? I mean, what if they praised white men? Like, so what, what if the soccer mom had her boys praise white men and then bowed out to them? First of all, that'd be just weird for a different reason, which I won't even go down that road. But they'll be seen as racist and white supremacists and everything else. How about let's leave the race stuff out of it so we don't even venture into the territory of you know, being bigoted or prejudiced or hateful or whatever the case may be, all right? That's the first thing. The second thing is I just smell, what what they say, like I was saying earlier, the grift. It's about just trying to get money, trying to get some attention. The lady got a lot of backlash from her video, as you saw in a second when I get to that in a minute. But some of the backlash was like, hey, you're just using this whole black thing to just get some money and get some attention. And she even admitted, the woman, the, the mom in the video, she even admitted that she had gone viral before for posting videos about black women and ethnic things and stuff like that. Okay, so now you're trying to, you, you're getting some of the Rachel Dolezal, Sean King, Jessica Krug. It, it kind of pays money to be ethnically ambiguous or black or quote unquote Latina, anything other than white. So it kind of defeats this whole narrative of white privilege. OK, if there's so much white privilege, then why don't those who are trying to make money off of black stuff do something else? You know, and then by becoming black themselves and renouncing their whiteness, how does that help them? Obviously, there's more money and not being white and going against things that are white, regardless of whether you yourself are white or black or whatever, there's money in going against it, that the new wave is going against it. This is why there's a, a backlash and a conflict there because it's like, hey, you're attacking me for my race. Isn't that racist? Or you're profiting off of racism. Isn't that bad? Isn't that not morally correct? And the black woman that responded to her, I can kind of see where she's coming from, but that's kind of a that's kind of a mixed message as well, because I hear a lot of this black girl magic, black girls rock, black women. We did it all this and that. I hear that from black women and I don't hear too much 
negative feedback against them from anybody, let alone black women. But then when a white woman does it, all of a sudden it's bad. It's like, well, you can't put it out there. I'm not saying the woman that was in the video responding to the white lady did it. But I'm talking about the quote unquote black community in general. You can't put it out there if you don't want others to, you know, do it as well. It's like this whole thing about the N word. I don't use any racial slurs at all. So there's no ambiguity when it comes to my stance on the N word. You know, don't use the N word around me. Don't call me that. Don't try to say it with the ER, or the A. Don't do any of that. I take it as a racial slur. I take it as a fighting word the same way that I would think anyone else would feel when a slur is used towards them, whether it's against whites or Hispanics or Asians or anybody else. I'm going to be the same all across the board. I'm not going to be using it over and over again just randomly in my life and then get mad when someone else says it to me. You know, the, the worst thing is when you have rappers that have N-word this, N-word that in their lyrics they invite white people on stage to rap their songs with them. And then when the N-word comes up, if they even start to say N, then they want to get mad and flip out. It's like, why are you getting mad? It's your lyrics. It's your music. This is your fan that paid to come to your show. Why are you mad? But different story. I'm going down the rabbit hole, so I digress. My whole point is that uh, th this whole thing with the, the mom and their kids, it's all about getting money. And the, the black woman was rightfully... Uh, upset about her doing it but i think it's all for the wrong reasons you worried about a target being put on your back meanwhile you have this whole big apparatus of mostly black folks that are trying to take credit for the election they're trying to say yeah we beat trump and go biden uh joe we did it it's all kind of memes on shade room and everything else that celebrate uh joe biden's alleged victory against trump and they want to take credit for it but then when she is profiting off of that, the white lady that is, then all of a sudden it's a problem, okay? The, the bigger issue here is about the the money aspect of it. All, all of this, you know, woke SJW stuff, you know, taking advantage of your kids, making them go out there and grovel, looking ridiculous, looking pathetic. All of this right here is an attempt to get some attention, which translates into dollars, period, okay? I would not be surprised if she had a brand deal, if some of the toys in the background were sponsored, I wouldn't be surprised. That's kind of how the whole influencer culture works, right? You, you do certain things and you get paid for it. Now, some people like me genuinely believe in what they're saying. Some people don't. And when you have things like that, the lady out there making their kids grovel on the ground, it's kind of hard to tell who is who. I have no idea what's right or what's wrong in the whole situation. But as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to people that recognize what's happening with this lady, you know, that they can get beyond the whole thing about being offended because, you know, it's white, black. Just understand what's going on. All this SJW, um, I'm woke, I'm more woke than you culture is, is really just kind of a monetized thing. I think the biggest purveyors, the biggest um, dealers of this woke culture are also the biggest profiteers of it. And the reason why they keep pushing it on to American citizens and to the whole world is because it makes them more money. That's just my humble opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. But when you start to see this lady talk about, oh, I've gone viral before talking about black women. And yeah, I got a lot of followers and all this and that. And I'm taking multiple takes with my kids to put out a video for TikTok. It, it kind of just seems really phony, really just put on and just a way to generate revenue and that's it it doesn't matter if this causes collateral damage it doesn't matter if anybody believes this and has their kids do this it doesn't matter if people that believe this and have their kids do this grow up and become damaged that's totally irrelevant all that matters is i'm trying to get money i'm trying to get some attention i'm trying to get some woke points at the end of the day but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that the lady in the video, the first one that is, with her kids bowing down, talking about all hell black women, does she really believe what she's pushing on her kids? Does she not believe it? Whatever your thoughts on that are, let me know in the comments below. Is it appropriate to push that onto your children? You know, it's one thing to have your kids be aware of civics and what's going on in the world. That's one thing. But and, and beyond that, these are little kids, too. So is it appropriate to have little, little kids be even interested in what's happening? And is it appropriate to have them be bowing down and submissive and stuff like that? Like, what kind of kids are you? Are you raising men or mice? 
Whatever your thoughts on that are, let me know in the comments below. How you feel about the black woman's point of view, what she said about the whole thing? You guys pretty much know where I'm at with it. I think it's just all about trying to get money, trying to get some attention, trying to, you know, go viral on uh, the gram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you are. The lady even said it. She was like, I've gone viral before. So if you've gone viral before, then I would think that it's probably not just one video. You're probably trying to recreate that virality and you're trying to monetize it and you got your kids involved. All right. If you want to be a moron or a court jester on your own, that's one thing. I could call you out for that. I think the biggest, most egregious thing here is that you got your kids involved. Leave the kids alone. You could be a moron by yourself. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.